Slim Bama, you got them city. Where they call me Petro, right? Where they call me Petro, right? Huh? Yeah, I'm in mean, Gotham City in the Batmobile Even though it get crazy, niggas don't talk like Swayze When I shoot my shot, it switch, don't play me We on that block from the night to the noon I'm talking to that cause you know it's not cool You thought they was lying, whole time they was telling the truth You hang yourself and you ain't need a rope This party busting, that shit not a coach I switch it up so they call me the GOAT don't follow What up, this is Swayze and I am back, my people With another quickie so you already know what it is assume the position because we about to get right but before i get into the video let me reintroduce you people to one of my reoccurring best friends and his name is manuel and first things first if you know someone that has a hundred thousand dollars laying around in their crib what would you do what would you do well, it looks like this 60-year-old couple had to learn the hard way because there was a home invasion where three men held up an elderly couple at gunpoint in their house and made off with a hundred thousand dollars. Oh my God. Now I'm gonna let you guys check out this clip and I'll be right back with my commentary. A man pretending to make a home delivery in the Bronx pulled out a gun and forced his way inside when a 62-year-old man answered the door. He took the man into a back room, tied him up, and held him and a 61-year-old woman at gunpoint while two other people stole $100,000 in cash from the home. <clears throat> this was around 8.20 in the morning, June 7th, at a home near East 177th God, Street and Cross Bronx Highway. The group drove off in a white SUV on the Cross Bronx okay. Expressway service road. Now, if you recognize them or the vehicle, call NYPD's Crime Stoppers hotline Sheesh. at 1-800-577-TIPS. Katie Johnston for CBSN New York. Wait, hold on. So let me get this right. If I know the vehicle and I hit up 1-800-577-TIPS, am I going to get at least half of that $100,000? These are the questions that needs to be answered. But all jokes aside, bruh, I think what we're dealing with here is another setup. How did these guys know that they had $100,000 just laying in the crib? How? This ain't a coinky dink. They didn't just go any, mini, miny, mo and pick the right crib that happens to have $100,000 in it. It was a setup. But if you ask me, I think this setup is even more shysty. Didn't you think? On a hundred thousand dollars. Who knows? Being so proud of their accomplishment, they probably told a few family members. And those family members probably told other family members. And next thing you know, word gets around town that Miss Betsy and her husband got a hundred K under the mattress at the crib. That's a hundred thousand dollars. That's life changing money right there. There's niggas that's willing to take a risk for $1,500. You think niggas ain't about to run up in grandmama crib for that 100 k Shit, one of the grandkids could be in on it and say, yo, just get that 100 k and give me five so I could get some Ameris. That's all he wanted, just some Ameris. But pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. Can you imagine losing 100 k of your hard-earned money just like that? Just like that. Let me know how you feel, but if you like the video, don't forget to share, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and make sure you hit that notification button. But I'm off this. Yo, when I seen the videos, your Swayze had some guy named Swayze TV had like the rise and fall of fame too, and I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I'm just like, yo, what's going on? <laughs> nah, like, they call me gang. Whoa. Gangsta. Niggas be posting videos from years ago. Right, and I just see, you know what I mean? Man, shit, I'm like, yo, fame was crazy. Like, I definitely gotta get in tune.